St Aidan's was founded by the Society of the Sacred Advent. They had been here in Brisbane since the end of the 19th century. They had always had a focus on looking after women and children. Caroline Amy had been a sister at Clua, one of the very large sisterhoods in England that developed in the 19th century and uh, she did some work while she was part of that community in the East End of London and she was very focused on welfare. She was invited to come by the diocese to help uh, provide pastoral care to the women and girls on the streets of Brisbane. It wasn't long before she thought there needed to be some education for girls <laughs> as well as the girls that were on the streets. So they looked around, they worked with the local parish priest down at Sherwood and decided that just about here would be a pretty good place to build another school run by the order and that was how St Aidan's started. The school opened in 1929 in February and we had 17 students and three staff. The school was run by a lay headmistress, Mrs Christine Hartland and now we have more than 800 students and yet what is lovely is to see the traditions have remained the same through the school. Our real targeted approach to holistic education I think comes from the, the sisters ethos, the sisters themselves. They were um, really dedicated to educating young girls but it wasn't just their minds or um, for an academic pathway. They were incredibly serious about educating the whole girl. A genuine focus on their spiritual growth, development in cultural activities and of course their growth in the sporting field. At the core of all of that is the sisters' faith and the religion that continues through the school is at the heart of all of the girls' learning. For us it's important to be invitational in the faith life of the school so that all are welcome at whatever point they begin at. And for religious and values education, it's always about what will help our students to live better lives, to have a, a clearer understanding of who they are as young women in the world and what do they need to help them really flourish in life. In relation to faith, I think they're really encouraged today to explore their faith. It's not something that you're landed with and you believe this, this, this. You explore your faith through your inner self. This is something that's really important across the board, whether you're a Christian person or not. So I think what the, the chaplains are doing today and, and teachers and stuff is encouraging the students to be more authentic, to open up more and uh, be honest about what we really think or feel about things. And, uh, I think that's one of the strengths of our school. Even as we meet the challenges of a changing world, we hold on to those core values that inform who we are. The world will always change and grow, but what it means to be human doesn't change. And to remain faithful to those values that are at the heart of this community, I think that will see us through no matter what life in the future throws at us.